Hello and welcome, I'm the Soul Enchantress and today we're going to speak about new money flows. So as always, I am so glad you're here and I've been given the topic to speak on and have no notes. So let's see what flows. New money. What is new money? New money is literally new flows in money that comes into your sphere of existence. So the money itself is actually not new, but the energy that flows into your sphere is new. And since money is just another form of energy and it is something that is given great gravity and importance in our lives, you will notice it as opposed to the air you breathe, which still there will be new air that enters your, your um, sphere of Um, reality however you won't register it as a huge deal because you haven't placed as much importance on the breathing of new air as you do in welcoming new money. So one of the main things that I would like to look at are these three words new and money and flows. So flows is obviously a flowing body of something and in this case it is money and in order for something to flow there needs to be no hindrances to it no obstructions to it nothing blocking it nothing stopping it more importantly and that's how flow happens that's how something flows like water flowing seamlessly from the river to the ocean a new simply means that it is rebirthed, it is created, polished and given a new nuance. And money is this energy that we have come to use as a currency, as a form of energetic exchange for our goods and services. So now that you understand from an energetic perspective these three words, let's see why and how they flow together. So one of the main things I'd like to actually address is the dissolving of fears because fears is one of the biggest stoppages, hindrances and energetic mismatch energetic disharmony with the energy of money if you have fears associated with money and as i released um the message last week on your poverty wound regardless of how much money you have that still the the fear of losing all of the lot of money you have or the fear of not having enough money, it is still a fear. So that the fear is what actually creates blockages and stoppages and hindrances in your flow of money. And as with anything, for new um, bodies of that energy, new flows to happen, As I said before, there needs to be no hindrances. So dissolving fear, fear related to anything to do with money, fear of making too much money, fear of not making enough money, fear of not having money, fear of losing money, fear of um, being rich, fear of being ostracized because you're rich, fear of being lonely because you're rich, fear of being ridiculed because you're rich, fear of anything associated to do with money so this is not a a message on 
your fears about money, but it is very much a huge part of allowing the flow of money. So I wanted to touch on it. So I'm not going to go into the various fears that you may have about money. I just listed a whole host of them. Or it might even not be your fears. It could be fears that are flowing to you and patterns of um, thinking about money in a way that it creates fear, that it flows from your ancestral lineages. So um, those are all uh, different ways in which you can affect the flow of money adversely and not have the new money flow to you. The other thing that I'd like to also address is it's, it's a very deep knowing and also it's a belief. It's more than anything. It's not so much faith but it's, and it's definitely not hope. But it is a belief, a belief in yourself and a belief in your ability to be open and to be worthy and to actually be able to receive new flows in money. So that's another crucial factor. And it is belief in the fact that you can receive it it's not so much um, it is actually increasing the capacity to receive but it is not so much a belief in that you can do it it's not a belief in that you know you will receive the money um, you will um, that the money will flow to you all of those things are just subtle nuances but the biggest thing is that you believe that the reception of new money is a given, is your birthright, is just natural. And that set of beliefs, that belief is actually one of the trickiest and the hardest to achieve, which is why there are so many layers of unpacking that needs to be done before you can actually stabilize that belief into your energetic system. Okay, so that is another point I wanted to make and the third point about new money flows that I want to make is maintenance and that means that you're dissolving of fears and building off the belief of the reception of money <laughs> that requires constant work and maintenance and that is how new money flows to you. That is how you keep the pipe that flows and the um, multiple streams, not just one single pipe, but the multiple streams that actually flow um, new money to you. That is how you keep it open. And the one thing I want to say, though, is the doing of the work, the the dissolving of the fears and the belief which is the work the building the beliefs and the dissolving the fears yes it needs to be constant yes it needs to be something that you do for the rest of your life and yes it is maintenance however it doesn't have to be hard so we the work that i do now to all of the work that i used to and the entire world actually still keeps doing you don't need to go into the whole nitty-gritty of rehashing things but it is more of the dissolving of the fears and the building of the beliefs and if you want to actually dive deeper and integrate those energies into you and build your beliefs and um, dissolve your fears then I invite you to step into working with me with my, with my cosmic sound medicine it literally is a magic wand that just keeps on elevating your level of consciousness and allowing you to receive and allowing you to believe and allowing you to live a, an abundant life when new money flows easily and joyously and blissfully. So I am the Soul Enchantress and as always, if you would like to work with me, I invite you to message me via soulenchantress.com. Joyous blessings.